Hi, this is Martin Brennan from Imagineer Systems, and welcome to tip bundle number one. This is where we grab a bunch of the Mocha daily tips and explain them in a little bit more depth. If you haven't noticed, we've been posting a daily tip to our Twitter and Facebook feeds, as well as the Mocha Pros groups on Google Plus and LinkedIn. We've had excellent feedback over this so far, but we've also received a number of requests to go into further detail, so that's what these videos are for. Each video will grab three tips from the tip archive and expand on them in a little bit more detail, just in case 140 characters wasn't enough to get the point across. So let's get started. The Add Spline to Layer tool is not just useful for Roto, it's also great for adding to the search area when you're tracking a layer. For example, I've been tracking this window here, and we can see that although it's been tracked nice and solidly up here, as we start to get towards the edge of the viewer, I'm going to start losing my shape. Now, I could just select my shape and move it to another area, but this creates some animation keys, and I want to just keep that in one spot. So instead, what I'm going to do is go up to my Add Spline to Layer tool, and just draw in another area of detail. And now this shape is added to my layer and will be part of the search areas. So I can keep on tracking now, and even when my original part of my shape goes off the screen, the new shape that I've drawn will continue where it left off. You can do this as many times as you like. For example, I can add another shape over on this area, and this will also add to the shape, and we can keep on tracking. As long as your shapes are all on the same plane, you can add as many shapes to your layer as you like to avoid sections and move them around. The great thing about this method is, is that I can just take one shape, move it somewhere else, and leave the other two alone. So you have a really good flexibility with having individual shapes in a single layer to search for your tracking information. Now this may seem like an obvious one, but it's very, very easy to jump into a simple shot like this and not actually check what's going on in the shot. For example, here we want to track the wall in the background, but there's a number of things that come up in the way that we need to be aware of. So doing a quick scrub through the shot, we don't get really a sense of all that much going on. But as we scrub slower, we can see this guy walking through our shot here, which may interfere with any kind of touch-up work we want to do on the door here. And if we slowly scrub back to the beginning of the shot, we also get this guy running through the shot here. Now he's only running through maybe about 10 or 15 frames, but this will really throw off a track if you're not careful. So we can either choose to mask him out in the beginning, or we can choose to track the top of the wall and then use the rest of the planar information at the bottom of the wall as he disappears out of the way. Without slowly scrubbing through the shot first, we don't find these kind of obstructions, and it can be easy to redo work when you don't have to. When rotoing complex objects, it's often better to break your shapes down into individual parts, rather than handle one big spline as you go. For example, if I was to draw just one spline to rotor this cow, I would have to go all the way down their neck, around their head, over their ears, down past their skull here, over their nose, around their mouth, down their chest here, down to their leg, and so on and so forth. Now while a mat like this may be fine, albeit a bit rough, we're going to get run to a situation with, as we start to animate forwards, we're losing a whole bunch of information that was in that original shape. Even going a few frames ahead, you can see that ear completely disappears. So then I would have to modify my shape to get rid of this ear now, and line it up with the rest of his head, or her head, as it's a cow, and then keep on moving like that. Now this can get very tedious, especially when you get introduced to new information coming into the shot. So it means that you have to add more spline detail to the shape, and then you have to go and refine that back where you drew the original shape, and so on and so forth. So it starts to get very, very messy very, very quickly. 
Instead, a good process is to break each shape down. So for example, I would start maybe with just the head. So I would draw a shape here. Just like that for the head. And then I would draw an individual shape only for the ear. Now you can also name as you go, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to name that one ear, and this one head. And we'd probably want to do one for this ear as well, but I'm not going to do that yet because it doesn't come into the equation. This is the great thing about rotoing like this, is that you can keep on adding information as you go. So now when we start to go forward through the timeline, we can start to animate our shape just slightly differently. Now normally I'd be doing some tracking here as well, but I'm going to keep it simple for the time being just to show you how the shapes work itself. So here I'm going to select the head and I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And I can start to re-sculpting that shape just a little bit. So I'm not having to do a drastic change because I've got one individual shape to work with. And the same goes for the ear. The ear is slowly starting to move behind the head, so I can start moving that down a little bit. And we'll just scrub through there and we'll see what we're missing. And just refine that shape and we can just keep on refining like that. So you can see it's a much quicker and easier process to be dealing with these individual shapes rather than a whole mess of one big shape with a ton of different points. So that was tip bundle number one. If you aren't following the Mocha Tips online, check them out on our Twitter at Imagineer System or follow the hashtag Mocha Tips. If you're not into tweeting, you can also get tips on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Imagineer Systems. Or just search for Mocha Tips on Google. We really do post them pretty much everywhere. This has been Martin Brennan for Imagineer Systems.